Hi everyone, I'm Dan York, the Communications Director for the City of Garden City along with Mayor Randy Walker. And we want to present to you information on how the coronavirus, COVID-19, has affected Garden City in regards to the services that the city offers, building closures, and other information that is important to residents. Mayor, obviously this is a completely unprecedented time. There is no playbook for this. Uh, we are following the lead of the state, we are following the lead of the county, we are following the lead of the CDC and the rest of the nation. But uh, Absolutely. I mean, to prevent uh, further exposure of the virus, uh, these actions we have to take uh, to be cautious and but also be accommodating as possible to our residents. We are shutting down City Hall, uh, Maplewood Community Center and the ice rink until further notice. Uh, to prevent further exposure and uh, just uh, like you said unprecedented times but uh, it's actions I feel we we have to take to keep our residents safe. Now the city will attempt to operate as close to normal as possible which uh, may not sound right because we are going to have a lot of the buildings closed and a lot of services won't be offered but police services will continue to function as normally fire services will continue to function as close to normal as they can as will uh, many of the Department of Public Works functions. Absolutely. Um, city Hall uh, you can uh, make payments if you have payments or water bills you want money you want to drop off in the drop box or you can pay online um, same with the court you can pay your court fees online um, police and fire operations are, are going to be normal for uh, emergencies if you have a police report that's uh, a non-emergency uh, they'll either take it over the phone or uh, you can probably come into the lobby of the uh, police department uh, but uh, they, they may cut back on uh, non-emergency uh, type responses to keep the exposure from our officers uh, to a minimum as well. Absolutely. And you can go on the city's website, which is GardenCityMI.org at any time, and you can file a police report for a non-emergency situation. That ability always exists. And the phone numbers for all of the city departments are available also on the city's website. Uh, if you don't know, just call and, and try to get an answer. Right, and uh, let me say this about the Maplewood Community Center. Meals on Wheels is still gonna operate. Um, those uh, that qualify for the, the low income and they're on the list, uh, the food bank will still be open. They can uh, pick up, uh, they can call and pick up their uh, the food at the front door, make arrangements, but uh, those, those are still gonna go on. The library is gonna be closed. Um, all uh, Parks and Rec, uh, activities are shut down, ball fields, ice rink, uh, until further notice. You know, like I said, it, we've got to be cautious. Uh, it's a day-by-day -day thing. We, you know, we got to see how this pans out. But uh, the more all of America together um, cuts back on large gatherings, it's less the virus is going to spread, and, and hopefully uh, this thing will, will end soon. As, as we record this on, on March 16th, the morning of March 16th, the governor has issued an order to close restaurants and bars, so yeah. that should help to slow, as they say, flatten yeah. the curve is the expression that is everyone is trying to use on this. We don't know if that's going to help, but that's the intention, right. is that hopefully that will help. The casinos have been shut down in Detroit, so these were things that had been left open prior that yeah. have closed. But again, this is all happening in real time. We're, right. we're, we're adjusting and we're accommodating these things on an hourly by hourly basis. Right, and also let me move on to DPS. Uh, uh, they're still gonna handle emergency operations, but their foot traffic to their offices is, is gonna be stopped too. In, inside meter uh, inspections, uh, house inspections, where they come out to your house, those are suspended indefinitely right now. Uh, outside inspections will still go on, because uh, they're outdoors naturally, but uh, inspectors coming in the house, uh, that's, that's going to be put on hold for a while uh, as well. The 21st District Court also will be closed, which is obviously a part of City Hall. They take their marching orders from the, from the state court system, but as of now, again, you can call you can call the court at 793-1680. That's 734-793-1680 for questions about court functions. But again, they are closed to uh, to the public for now, Absolutely. with very few exceptions. They're going to try to do whatever they can do to continue to operate, but uh, that's going to be limited. And to the residents, trash pickup will not be interrupted. So. Trash pickup will continue as normal. Um, 
again, we appreciate uh, everybody's patience during this unprecedented times, but uh, we're doing what we can to keep our employees and our residents safe. For the city clerk's office, if you need death or birth certificates, it can be requested by calling City Hall directly. They will uh, answer you by telephone or, or email, but they'll make arrangements. All city council meetings, planning commission meetings, zoning meetings are put on hold indefinitely uh, until further notice. So there'll be no, no meetings where we have the public coming in and gathering. And we're looking for some clarification from the state on that also because obviously there are requirements in our charter and there are Open Meeting Act requirements that the state has. So we're looking for guidance from the state on those as to how we are to proceed during the next couple of weeks. Absolutely. And um, again, I just want to thank the residents for your consideration and patience during these unique time of change. Uh, I would uh, request that you wash your hands frequently. Uh, look out for the elderly, uh, your elderly uh, relatives or your next door neighbor, especially if they live alone. But uh, be a good neighbor. We're all in this together. Americans always bounce back. We'll get through this. Just be patient, be calm, good hygiene so we don't spread the, the virus. Uh, wash your hands frequently. Obviously, all of the phone numbers that you need, if you need to reach out to the city, can be found on the city's website. The general phone number for City Hall is 734-793-1600. That's 734-793-1600. Uh, one of the things, water bills, uh, those can be paid online. Those can be paid by check at the drop box here at City Hall. Don't forget, there is a drop box on the north side of City Hall. It's purple. It's off of uh, Block Street and you can put your payments both for the 21st District Court and for the City of Garden City in that drop box if there are payments you need to make. Uh, but obviously, again, right. this, is all, this is all changing by the day, so if there are changes in any of those, uh, in any of those functions or accommodations, we'll make sure we get those informa that information out through our social media, through our Facebook, uh, through our website through the television channel. And through Nixle, this is a good time to sign up for Nixle. If you haven't done yet, uh, go to Nixle.com, that is Nixle.com, for more information on that. But this is a good time to sign up to receive alerts and information from the city about these closures in real time. Right, Dan, and like you said, there's just too many unknowns. And uh, we just gotta be responsible in the actions that we're taking, and we feel we're taking the right actions. And uh, like I said, we'll get through this. We appreciate everybody's patience, though. We do the best we can in this case to protect Absolutely. our residents, to do the best that we can to protect uh, our employees. employees. But in this case, uh, it's, it's the federal government you look to or the CDC or the county or the state. They are the ones that have the information. They are the ones that have the updates on the amount of cases. That's not something, that's not information you're going to find out from the city. That's information you're going to find out from these larger agencies that are responsible for keeping, uh, for keeping this information out in the public's knowledge. Absolutely. All right. Well, Mayor Randy Walker, I want to thank you very much for uh, stopping by and talking with us, and I yep. wish you the best of luck in all of the decisions that the uh, the City Council and you have to make. And uh, yep. as you said, we'll get through this. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for watching this special report.